So today we're going to be walking through the new June 2019 Further Stats 1 exam paper. So this is for the full A-level, not the AS paper, but I will be doing the AS paper eventually. So we should check that out when that's done. So we're looking here at question one. There's seven questions in total for this paper. Overall, it wasn't too bad of a paper. Question one's a very nice introduction though. So let's have a look at question one. So question one, part A. We've got a question here where it's talking about basically chocolate. So if you're hungry, not the best question to start with. Um, it tells us that the tokens are placed in 2% of the bars it produces so that each bar contains at most one token. And anyone who collects three of these can claim a prize. So we're told that Andrea buys a box of 40 bars of these chocolates. Um, what's the probability that she can claim a prize? So let's write the model down first. So X is distributed. Now, how do we know what distribution this is? Well, the big giveaway here is that it's in percentages, right? In percentages. So, because it's in percentages, it's going to be binomial. We've got a fixed number of trials here. It's going to be 40 bars. So my N is 40, and my P is 2% or 0.02. Okay, so that's our model. We need to find the probability that she can claim a prize. So for Andrea to be able to claim a prize, she needs three of these tokens. So if I just get rid of that here. Um, that is three of these tokens. So she's going to need probability of X, because that's our model. She needs at least three. So that's going to be greater than or equal to three, which if you write this down, this is one minus probability of X being less than or equal to two. Okay, just using our knowledge of the distribution. So plugging this in on your calculator now, your graphical calculator, or just using the tables, whichever you prefer, what you're going to get here is not point not four five six seven which the three significant figures will be not point not four five seven okay so it's a three significant figures there there we go um i don't know why i did that equals there so just ignore that um but yeah three significant figures there so that's part a done that's the first two marks let's have a look at part b it tells us barney intends to buy bars of the chocolate one at a time until he can claim a prize and it says find the probability that Barney can claim a prize when he buys his 40th bar of chocolate. So, this here is binomial, but it's the negative binomial. And the reason why is because it keeps going until he gets it on the 40th bar of chocolate. So, it's, it's basically we're getting a lot of failures until we get it on the 40th bar, okay? So, we need a negative binomial. So, negative binomial. Now this is in your formula, but you don't have to worry about memorizing this, guys. So it's going to be probably x being equal to x. So this is equal to p of x, so I'm just literally writing this down from the formula book. So it's going to be x minus 1 over r minus 1 times p to the r times 1 minus p to the x minus r. Okay, so all we need to do now is plug in our values. For our question, our x, that's our total sample here. Oh, that's what we're going to finish on. That's going to be 40. And our R, how many do we need? That's going to be 3. Okay? Because he needs 3 tokens. So, plugging this in now, what's this going to give us? Well, it's going to give us 39 choose 2. Because it's X minus 1, so 40 minus 1, 39. R minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. P to the R, so that's going to be 0 0.02. Because our P is 0 0.02. So times 0 0.02 to the power of R r is 3 times 1 minus p so that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.02 so 0 0.98 to the power of x minus r so that's going to be to the power of 37 plug all this on your calculator now i'm just going to write down to three significant figures again it's going to be 0 0.00281 three significant figures and there we have it that's part b done and part c i will have enough room it's a nice easy one marker here the expected number of bars so we're still working here in the negative binomial. Now your expected number, this is going to be equal to the mean. And this is in your formula book, so you don't even have to memorize this. So mu, that's going to be equal to r over p. Okay, so nice and easy here. r is 3. p, 0 0.02, so it's going to be 3 over 0 0.02. Plug that in on your calculator, what do we get? We get 150 bars. And there we have it, that's question 1. Nice and easy fully complete.